Good morning, class. I am your teacher in Mathematics Mix, Sir Ron Tribe. And this morning, our lesson is about the understanding the solid figures. And our content standards, the learner demonstrates understanding the solid figures. And the performance standard, the learner is able to construct and describe the different solid figures like cube, prism, pyramid, cylinder, cone, and sphere. And the most essential learning competencies visualizes and describes the different solid figures, the cube, the prism, the pyramid, the cylinder, cone, and sphere using a various concrete and pictorial models. Differentiates the solid figures from plain figures and identify the faces of a solid figures. But this morning, our lesson is about differentiate solid figures from plain figures. And our enabling competence is Describe solid figures and plain figures. Differentiate solid figures from plain figures. Cite examples of solid figures and plain figures. And the last is draw a solid figure and plain figure. Alrighty. Okay class, you are going to choose the correct answer from the different Figures. I will show you a figures and you are going to select the correct answer. What do you think is the name of its figure? Okay. Very good. The correct answer is hexagon. Letter A, hexagon. How about this one, class? Is it rectangle, square, or cube? Yes! This is Q. How about this one? What is what is the name of this figure? Letter Letter B Pentagon. And how about this one? Is it A circle, B oval, or it's letter C sphere? The correct answer is letter. Letter B, oval. And how about this one? Yes. A, cylinder. B, oval. C, prism. This is letter A, cylinder. Very good. I have games for this morning. You are going to answer yes or no. Right? Or you are going to answer yes if the 3D object matches to the 2D object and no if not. So, you're going to answer yes or no. Are you ready? Get your pencil. Get your paper. Ready? I will show you a picture and if, it, if the picture matches or if the 3D or the 2D matches, you're going to write yes. If not, write no. How about this one? Are you ready? Let us check. The correct answer is okay. Yes. Oh, it is not matches with each other. How about this one class? Ready? What okay, the your answer? This is yes. It is matching. Matches with each other. And next. Number three. Oh my god. Sorry. <laughs> Number three. Oh, you see the answer. It is. Yes. Number four. Number four. Walking. The correct answer is yes. Yes. Oh, how many of 
you got the correct answer. So today, let us now proceed to our lesson about to differentiate the plain figures from solid figures. And what is plain figures? Okay, class. When we talk about plain figures, it is a two-dimensional figure which possesses an area, but the volume of this figure is zero. And there are lots of examples in our picture that the plain figures are the triangles, uh, the square, circle, oblong, pentagon, rectangle, and hexagon, and so on. How about solid figure? What is solid figure? A solid figure is a three-dimensional figure which has surface area as well as the volume but the volume of this figure is zero. How about this one? The examples, cone, cube, cylinder, spear, and rectangular prism. And what is the difference between plane figures and solid figures? Let us have this one in class. When we talk about the solid figures, it is the two dimensions, the length and also the width. But the solid figures, it is three dimensional. The length, the width, but it is it, it has also height. The unit for plane figure is square or the area are a square. While the unit for solid figures is volume. <laughs> or the, the unit is cube. The volume solid is equal to uh, unit name, then Q. Are you ready? Is it, sim it is very simple for you because play in, um, to differentiate the plain figures from solid figures. And this time, your first activity is all about you are going to draw. You are going to draw in your own the different examples of plain figures and solid figures and you are going to write the name of that figure you're going to draw in your scratch paper the different sample at least three or five samples of plain figures and solid it is very simple class you are going to write pf if the figure is plain and sf if solid, you are going to write FF or plain figures and SF if it is solid, if it is solid figures. So number one, spear, number one, spear, number two, cone, number three, uh, Q, uh, rhomboid, number four, triangle, number five, uh, hexagon number six rectangular prism number seven cylinder number eight uh, pentagonal prism a hexagonal prism number nine rectangle and number ten um, cube so write it in your answer sheet Okay, you are going to send your answer in our Google Classroom.
and your final assignment is write 10 different solid figures and 10 plain figures that you see in your house. Again, write 10 different solid figures and plain figures that you see in your house. Again, this is your teacher Ryan for Mathematics 6. Thank you and good morning. Thank you very much.